Many ordinary Americans as well as seasoned reporters are counting down the days until November 8th. But it's different for political cartoonist Matt Worker of Politico. For him, it's been a campaign season that keeps on giving. The cartooning has been very easy. I'm a little worried that come November 9th, um, it's going to be really hard to have to start to work again. Worker can do Trump in four minutes flat. This season, he's gone through a lot of orange and yellow. Cadmium yellow, light cadmium yellow. And this is sort of, you know, the, the deep dark parts of the ocean where you have angler fish that provide their own light. It seemed like an apt metaphor for Trump, too. I did this when Trump sewed up the Republican nomination. And it's sort of like the, you know, the little shop of horrors, right? After years of feeding the plant, the plant got bigger, bigger, bigger. And uh, here the fertilizer is called birtherism and vitriol. The GOP elephant is about to be devoured by, the, by its creation. Here's Pat Robertson in, in the pulpit that's labeled religious right. And then if you look closely, there's sort of a side keg with uh, the cross is now empty and there's a step, step stool and Jesus is leaving the church. That one sort of struck a nerve, I hope. Of course, Clinton handed him plenty of material to work with as well. This one, yeah. yes. Uh, it's uh, somebody reaching out from the side saying, ma'am. And then suddenly it's red alert and she's thrown in the car. The car zooms away. She's put in a helicopter. The helicopter drops her into the Hillary submarine, and the submarine goes dive, 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 and it goes. That was a close one. A reporter nearly asked a question. Part of what political cartoonists do is we point out sort of abiding hypocrisies. The email thing has been dogging her for a couple years, and you'd think she, that a competent politician would have just figured a way to handle it, put it away in the drawer, and have it go away. What's not going away are the rifts this campaign has exposed. One of the things that's sort of unique to 2016 is that it seems that people are much more motivated about who they're voting against. Worker hopes a little humor will help America mend its fences one way or the other. We have to be able to disagree with each other, and um, ideally we should be able to disagree agreeably. And uh, it, that's been really tested this time in a way that it hasn't been tested in a really long time. Worker says for him the work begins November 9th when the election is over and he has to start looking for new inspiration other than whoever becomes the next president. We'll see how that turns out.